means spending more time with friends. There's so many different activities that you can do with your friends during these couple months off of school. Uh, one of my favorites is spending time in the lake and going hiking. Yeah, it's also a great time for concerts and food trucks, more and all of that after the news. A 911 dispatcher has been placed on leave and may lose her job after allegedly hanging up on a supermarket employee hiding during the shooting in Buffalo, New York. Peter Anderson, spokesperson for the executive of Erie County, has said termination will be sought for the dispatcher at disciplinary here later in the month. An assistant office manager at Tops, where 10 black people were killed by a white gunman, told the Buffalo News that she was whispering during the call because she feared the shooter would hear her. The employee allegedly, the dispatcher shouted at her, asked her why she was whispering, and then hung up. The employee then said she had to call her boyfriend and tell him to dial 911 and report the shooting. In the United Kingdom, Spain, and Portugal, there have been an outbreak of a very rare virus called monkeypox. This virus has also traveled to the United States with a case being found in Massachusetts. The patient had not recently traveled to any countries, but had traveled to Canada. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are excited to announce our latest Kindness Award winners. Thank you for spreading kindness in the world. Please nominate a student or staff member for our next drawing. Ms. Leia, nominated by Ms. Nathan. Ms. Kakamo, nominated by Ms. Lorenzo. Rachel Pas Pasturas, nominated by Natalie Shields. Isla Jefferson, nominated by Shania Williams. Armin Osmovich, nominated by Henry Cohen. <laughs> Emma DeBurgess, nominated by Nate Moran. Dominic Gross, nominated by Marissa Kane. Carter Smith, nominated by Yarek Lederman. Those looking for a short-term, part-time job, GreekFest is looking for some employees for their upcoming festival. Scan the QR code for more information. The yoga club will meet today after, the school, after school in the library. Join us on the mats for some stress relief. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a, fit, a friend. Any questions, please see Ms. Fulner or Ms. Welch. There will be a new talent Take a look at teaching club meeting on Wednesday, May 25th after school in room C4. Join the Google Classroom for more info. W4NXOEY. All are welcome. Um, okay, so most of my summer I spent up on my camp, which connects to Lake Ontario. Some others close by I'd recommend checking out this summer are Oneida and Onondaga. Even if you don't have a boat of your own, there are many places nearby where you can rent boats, jet skis, kayaks, and so much more. Upstate New York is also a great place for hiking with an abundance of trails. Places like Onondaga Lake, Beaver Lake, or even the Erie Canal have walking and hiking trails that go along the water. National parks like Green Lakes or Chittenango Falls have extensive hiking trails and views of natural landmarks that are only a few minutes from home. Today, what you can see here is I'm about to green blobs, but really that's all just some rain. We're gonna get hit here, and a little later in the day we'll get hit with some more rain, and it might some might carry on to tomorrow. But today's gonna have a high of 67 and a low of 53, so it's gonna be another chilly day. But tomorrow's gonna spike back up with a high of 85 and a low of 70. Saturday's gonna carry on the spike with a high of 90 and a low of 64. Sunday will have a high of 87 and a low of 51. But as you can see, Monday has a high of 64 and a low of 45, so it's going to drop down into colder weather. So really, this month is just crazy. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. concerts held in Syracuse over summer, many being at St. Joseph, Joseph's Health Amphitheater at Lakeview. Morgan Wallen, Machine Gun Kelly, and Zach Bryan are just a few. There are also several local food trucks in the area, and you can find them at different events throughout the summer. 
the Syracuse Food Truck Association holds an annual food truck battle at the fairgrounds, and weekly food truck events are held at parking lots of Great Northern and Shopping Town Malls. The Golden State Warriors beat the Dallas Mavericks 112-87 in the Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Steph Curry led the Warriors in points with 21. The softball team defeated Fulton yesterday 6-2. Morgan Ransom and Sarah Rafka had both had three hits and one RBI. And the golf had 15 strikeouts while pitching. In upcoming games, tonight is filled the Bleachers Night for Unified Basketball as they play their last game of the season. The game begins tonight at 4 in the gym. Boys and Girls Track has their league championship meet today at Central Square at 4. The softball team has a game at West Jenny at 4.30. The baseball team plays at home against Central Square at 4.45. And I'm Tanner with your sports. That's all we have for you today. For me, Elena, and the rest of the morning show, have a great day.